Hi, my name is Aileen Frick, and I do mixed media collage. I think I've been doing it ever since I was born, um, ever since I remember. I used to love to draw and sketch as a little kid, and everybody would be doing their own things. We'd have a pile of candy and go through all the candy, and I'd just sit there with my mom's Spiegel catalog <laughs> and, and draw the models. I just love to draw. I did art as a kid through classes, through grade school, and then when I went to high school, it was all math, science. You, if you want to get into college, you've got to take all these classes, so no art. Um, and then I became an engineer, like every good artist. <laughs> and, and so I went into engineering, did that, moved out to Arizona, and had a friend who said, hey, why don't we take a painting class? So signed up for a painting class, thought it'd be fun instead of going to happy hour. So <laughs> we uh, took the first class and the very first painting I did uh, was, turned out amazing. I mean, I didn't know I had it in me. I knew I could draw. Um, I, even in, in college, I'd get bored and start drawing the teacher in class. And like, it's just a, a hobby I've always had. But I didn't know I could paint and it was an oil painting class and so, I was sh shocked. I had a teacher who was an oil painting teacher. I just loved her as a teacher. She was super encouraging, very positive. And so, it, and it was an oil painting class and she brought in paper one day and said, we're gonna collage, you know, very simple instructions. And my first piece she saw that I did in, in paper, she's like, this is your thing. Put a body of work, go to a gallery. And me being a full-time engineer at the time, I'm like, what's a body of work? I don't know what a body of work is. And she explained it and she's like, you just need to start showing, like start showing your work just, and then put a collection together. And so I did, I started showing my work and what ended up happening is I showed it the first Fridays in Phoenix on Roosevelt's. Um, and so that spawned into people looking at my work being like, you don't belong here on the street that's spray paint art. Like you belong, you know, you're like a step above. And then I did my first festival and the people that ran that show are like, what are you doing here? You belong, you know, at, at a different level. Have you heard of this? And galleries started coming and, and it just blew up from there. Uh, the challenge is time. <laughs> My work is very involved with the paper, you know, looking through magazines, trying to find the right colors, trying to find pattern, tearing and gluing all the individual little pieces. Just, it's very time consuming, but it's very profound at the same time. Um, I find that a lot of my pieces, I, I know what I'm creating, the overall image, but I don't know what the story is. And the story unfolds as I'm working or sometimes years later, um, or even a year later, like I, I don't know what the story is. I don't know what the words mean. I'm not reading them. It's intuitive, like everything about the piece is very intuitive for me. Um, and I'm working on a level that I, is subconscious. There's a few reasons. Um, the, the show is amazing because of the connection with other artists and, and, and just that space of like learning and encouraging and growing and being supportive of each other. Um, and also just meeting the collector and at a festival, it's so fast paced, you don't have time to take time with clients. Um, so it's really unique in that regard is that you can really find out what your buyer's looking for and make that personal connection and learn about their lives and what they're looking for. And it really is great in that regard.